Well, good morning, boys and girls. I thought you could join me for a little koality time today and listen to a new story. This story is called The Koala Who Could, written by Rachel Bright and Jim Field, and read with permission by the Scholastic Publishing Company. The Koala Who Could. <clears throat> In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala named Kevin clung to a tree. See if you can find him over here. A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to his feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. I think he's afraid to try new things. You see, high up was safe since he liked a slow pace, while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or to change. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do, and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey, Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said, I've clinging to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was stark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. Take a look at his face. How do you think he's feeling? So his life was the same no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away. And Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. What do you think it is? Tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tapity, tap, 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 tap. Oh no. What's happening? Uncling, the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared, let go. No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh dear, I just can't. Woof! Down came the tree, and with it was bringing crash and a wallop a Kevin still clinging.
heaven, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. So bold is another word for kind of feeling brave. The worst he could think of had now come to pass, and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. So when Wombat leaned over and held out his paw, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. So it looks like our friend Kevin, sorry, looks like our friend Kevin lost some of his fear about trying new things. Have you ever been afraid to try something new, but once you gave it a try, it really wasn't as bad as you thought? All right. Thanks for joining me for some quality time, and we'll see you again soon.